Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. <laughs> Look at that Joker. You know, it's hard to believe that such a handsome man could become even handsomer, ha ha handsome, ha ha prettier. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic, and I remembered it for 100 episodes. <laughs> Wow, 100 episodes. It's hard to believe that I've done that many. And that's not including contests, fights with the nerd, and so forth. So, actually that means I've done more than 100 episodes. <laughs> I'm unbelievable. I am your Jesus. So, what do I have planned for this unbelievably big event? I'll tell you what. A crummy-ass clip show. This is where I sit back and do nothing, and you watch a bunch of clips of me being wonderful. You acknowledge how fantastic I am, and I go in the back and smoke a joint. It's a cheap cop-out, I know, but then again, I'll be high. So, you watch this clip from uh, Captain Planet Review, and I'll see you in roughly 20 minutes. Bye. Well, I'll tell you how I feel about the whole situation. I'm fucking pissed off. I mean, hey, wait a minute. What's he doing? He's not doing anything. He's just looking at his stupid clip show. Eh? What the hell? We watched 100 episodes of your shit and you just throw this clip show at us? I mean, that sucks ass. Yeah, the nostalgia crank of the past wouldn't do something like that. But it's my 100th episode. It is my 100th episode. God, what a cop out. What happened to you, man? You used to have strong, plentiful balls. No, no, I do. My balls are still very strong and extremely plentiful. Prove it! Do something special for your 100th episode. Something that everybody's requested, but you never had the plentiful balls to do. Well, what else is there? I mean, I've done Batman and Robin. I've done Garbage Pail Kids. Those are some of the worst films out there. No, Critic. There is one movie that you have overlooked. A sci-fi film that is so terrible it makes my nipples tingle with fear. <gasps> you don't mean... No, not that one. Oh. <gasps> nope, not that one either. Oh. You mean... Yes! Battlefield Ah! <laughs> yes, you asked for it. Now, here it is. Battlefield Earth, said to be one of the worst sci-fi films ever made. It came out in 2000, so I sort of considered it on the cusp of being nostalgic, but for the 100th episode, I'm gonna give in and review the movie I've gotten a ton of requests for. Ever since from the beginning I've been asked to review this movie, and now I'm finally gonna do it. It's based on the book by L. Ron Hubbard, but don't worry, I won't make any Scientology jokes because apparently this film has nothing to do with Scientology. It has as much to do with Scientology as Halloween 3 does with Halloween 1 and 2. It's just dumb sci-fi action with a dumb sci-fi story. No more, no less. Well, actually a lot less, but let's take a look at this fuckstorm anyway. So the film begins in the year 3000. The human race is apparently enslaved by aliens from the planet Cyclo. Cyclo, really? Come on, this is sounding like second grade fan fiction. They live on the planet Cyclo, where the evil Venusaurus and the nasty Banamagoo eat up all the Oompa Loompas. It turns out they enslaved all of humanity because we have gold. That's right, gold. Nuggets, booyah, carrots, bars. Gold! 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 So we see mankind as the weak, animalistic creature that the future will make us. We see our main character named Johnny as he rejoins the tribe. I'm sorry. The gods took your father in the night. Wow. I didn't think it would be this short amount of time for me not to give a shit, but there you go. The emotional turmoil about a character I don't know mourning a character I've never seen. I'm in for a treat. There may be other places we could live. Places where the food is more plentiful. Or they would take us for one of the demons to follow you back from the forbidden land. Has anyone here ever seen one? A demon! Uh, a monster! A beast! Yeah! Have you ever heard of subtlety? Underplay? A good actor? Yeah! Oh, by the way, something you'll notice very quickly about this film is that every shot is at an angle. And no, I'm not talking about like a dozen shots or even a couple dozen. No, I mean 95% of the shots are slanted. 
Why? I feel like the fucking movie is sinking. There's no reason for it. Perhaps we could venture forth and find a new world to explore. Ah! Oh, on top of that, every dissolve in this movie is a curtain wipe. Again, no purpose. Look at this. I feel like Moses is parting the dissolving scene. But I digress. There's much more stupidity to be analyzed. So Johnny gets on his horse to go hunting for rocks or something, as he comes across a pair of outsiders. You from the caves? You've probably never seen a god. Would you like to see one? What do you know about gods? We have seen gods. They show him a bunch of marketing statues that they confuse for gods. The gods weren't allowed to fall in love with mortal women, but this one did. Frozen as punishment. Look at those poor bastards. Now they really, really angered the gods. Over here, you'll see the statue of the mouse god named Mickey. Oh no, it's a demon, a monster, a beast! Ah! So the alien life forms known as Cyclos come in to shoot at our heroes. Look at these lame ass gun effects. They're done by Industrial Light and Atari. So Johnny is captured as we finally see what this advanced alien race that enslaved humanity looks like. Jamaican Klingon Clowns. I gotta admit, movie, I gave you a lot more credit than you deserved. Who is responsible for allowing this man-animal to run around unsupervised? And our main villain of these alien Bob Marleys is John Travolta, playing the sinister Turl. Now you expect nothing but a subtle performance out of a character who looks like that. You are out of your skull bone if you think that I'm going to write on the report shot by man-animal as the cause of death unless I see it! But that would be stupid. I'll be damned. <laughs> oh my god, the wife is killing us! Save me! Save me! Ah! Turl is accompanied by Kerr, played by Forrest. What the fuck am I doing here? Their job is to help mine gold on Earth, as they show one of the high rulers around their mines. Our spy satellites recorded those images. What is this species? The species is called Dog. Obviously the superior race, having the man-animal chauffeur it around. Oh, yes, yeah. Never heard that joke before! Thinking the dogs are the rulers. How original. Cyclo's understanding of our species is the equivalent of a Jerry Seinfeld stand-up. I must say, you've done a first-rate job here as interim security chief. <laughs> Which is why we've decided to keep you on for another tour of service. But have you looked at my file, sir? It explicitly says that this is a temporary assignment. We've decided to keep you here for another 50 cycles. With endless options for renew, with endless options for renew, with endless options for renew. Oh, I'm sorry. I have this bad habit of repeating myself, repeating myself, repeating myself, repeating my- I'm an idiot. <laughs> Okay, now we're entering a bad NyQuil dream. Is this the film's attempt to be artsy? Because it works about as well as tilting the camera on every fucking shot! Please, tell the senator that if I had even an inkling that that was his daughter... Watch your tongue! The very idea that I would go after a woman. Me. John Travol- I mean, a turl, the alien man, yes. <laughs> So we discover that Turl's responsibilities extend to harvesting gold, abusing humans, and chewing the scenery. I can assure you that I was not groomed since birth to have some cushy job. While you were still learning how to spell your name, I was being trained to conquer galaxies. And to do anything less is a disgrace to my entire family line. <laughs> Good lord, Jim Carrey, William Shatner, and Jerry Lewis in a kabuki class couldn't overact this guy! I mean, what the hell is he doing? Does he really think this is good acting? It's just so over-the-top goofy! I mean, did he even think before he went on camera? What? What was that? How did you pathetic pile of man-animal! Turl? I was just combing my nose hairs into this beautiful mustache when I overheard that you were disturbed by my acting! Well, I'm sorry you don't like my opinion, it's just I don't think it's very good. No, 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 it's not the fact that you were angry that made me uncomfortable, it's how angry you were! What do you mean? Well, if you want to convey your anger properly, you have to really emote! Well, like how? Hold your arm out like this! 
and say, I'm really angry! I'm really angry. No, 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 no. I'm really angry! I'm really angry. No, no, really angry! Really angry! Really Meanwhile, we see Johnny is put in the local zoo with the other humans. Here they fight over the pecking order of who gets to eat first. I eat first. Then, my men eat. If there's anything left, you can share it with the rest of them. We have enough problems without killing each other over food! I know I'm saying this after nearly killing someone over food, but that's beside the point! So I guess Johnny is the new leader of the pack, as Turtle discusses a plan to train the man-animals to harvest gold for them. Nobody works for free. Man-animals do. <laughs> I will be the laughing stock of the universe! Is that guy's chin a toilet seat? But Turtle and Kerr work out a plan to train the humans in secret, and keep the gold for themselves. Well, man is a primitive species. So we'll need something primitive for leverage, like food. What do you think a man animal would like to eat? There's no way of knowing that, sir. You know, how come this advanced alien race knows nothing about humans? They don't know what we eat, they don't know how we live, they don't know our language. Yeah, that language thing is a little confusing, isn't it? Sometimes the cyclos speak English, but then sometimes they don't. I guess the idea is to make it so that we don't have to read subtitles the whole time, but half the time they have them on the screen anyway. So what's the point? Just keep the languages separate. We can do a little reading. And like I said, it's obvious the human animal is intelligent. We at least bother to study other fucking animals rather than just laugh at them and have them mine gold. So why can't this advanced alien race see that? And for that matter, why don't they cut their fucking hair? And trim their fucking nails! And look in the fucking mirror, you oh-so-advanced alien race! At least in a movie like Planet of the Apes, the humans were dumb, so it makes sense why they would treat them like animals. Here, there's no logic! It's like Planet of the Apes without the logic! You know, like the remake of Planet of the Apes! This is stupid! It makes no sense! Start making sense, movie! Start making sense! So they take him to this education room where, with just a click of the button, the language of the Cyclones is instantly put into their heads. This is, um, you understand? Under understand me? Wait a minute, so you could already teach them the language? Why didn't you do that before? I... I don't get this! Wouldn't learning their language make them much better slaves? Because... You can fucking talk to them! Hello, you can fucking talk to them! Communication! I mean, hell, if I had a device that would allow me to talk to my dog, I would fucking do it! Because that is fucking awesome! We can learn so much! The possibilities! What is with these morons? They took us over? Bullshit! This is the stupidest alien race I ever heard in my life! It makes no sense! It makes no sense! I'm this close to cracking. So while the machines are teaching them all this stuff, we come back to Johnny's village. His girlfriend is worried about him, and so she rides off to find him. Meanwhile, Turl shows the intelligent man-animal the remains of human history. All your soldiers, and all their advanced technology, could only put up a measly nine-minute fight. Everything you humans knew is here, and you can look at anything you want. Lord knows we didn't. Because there is nothing that will help you. So he takes them to an open field where I think he makes the same speech to the humans that he did to the cast and crew of this movie. If any of you get any bright ideas about escaping, just keep in mind, I graduated top marksman in my class and I can kill any one of you at over a thousand paces. Okay, you can shoot cows, that's wonderful. McDonald's must be very proud of you. Yeah, how about the people attacking you from behind? Can you shoot them? For an expert marksman, you have a hard time hitting what's right goddamn next to you, don't you? Please, tell them I'm an expert marksman. Let's give this demon what it deserves. It turns out these humans, dressed as foxes, are from the caves. But Johnny stops them before they go any further. Kill it, and then we'll run. We'll run! Then what? What kind of life is it to run? Always living in fear of being hunted? You can't defeat them! 
Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Let it be said that we took this one chance and fought. Or they could say that five really stupid humans went up against an empire and got totally slaughtered. But fought! So like a friggin' moron, he hands the gun back to Turl and doesn't kill it. Why? Because instead of escaping, he wants to hold out for destroying the entire race. Well, I'm glad you have your realistic priorities in place. Stupid <laughs> humans. But to make sure he has leverage, it turns out that Turl has found his girlfriend and threatens to blow her up with an exploding collar if he doesn't cooperate. So if you choose to disobey me, let me show you what will happen. You've made your point. Yeah, aren't you glad you didn't kill him? Wasn't it just an unbelievably smart move? I'm glad to have you as our leader. The human race is looking so promising. You didn't kill Sammy. Johnny, this is not living. We would look over our shoulders waiting for the cyclists to hunt us down. I think that is not living either. Yeah, you want to know what is living? Dying. Wait, wait, no, that's not living, that's... That's fucking dying. What's going on? Someone in that cage knows how to speak the Cyclo's language. He's gonna help us fight him. Uh, this is really not that big a deal, guys. Unless knowing the Cyclo's language can shoot lasers from your balls, it's not really guaranteeing you a sure way out. What is a sure way out, though, is the stupidity of these goddamn morons. I mean, look at this. He continues to educate the humans, shows them how to fly their spaceships, and they've already proven that they can use their weapons. They really don't see this as a recipe for disaster? But it's okay. As long as they keep a good, close eye on them, I'm sure everything will be okay. So, how does this advanced alien race watch these humans while they mine? A small camera flies over sometimes and takes a still picture. I'll be watching you. Oh my god, how fucking stupid are these guys? You know what? Let's get Turl back in here. I want to ask him something. <laughs> Space invaders, puny humans. Uh, uh, yes? Turl, why would you educate these guys that clearly want to kill you and then only watch him by taking a picture every couple of hours? <laughs> a puny man animal such as yourself couldn't possibly understand. We are far technologically superior. We have conquered dozens of species and the hundreds of galaxies. Or is that the other way around? You couldn't conquer Rogue Island. You're completely useless. Well, okay, just because we've given them everything they could need to take us over doesn't necessarily mean they will take us over. We figure humans operate by the honor system. But you don't even work on the honor system. I know! And that's why we always win! <laughs> oh, go away. It's like talking to a horse's vagina. Fool! While you were still learning to spell your name! So what are the Cyclos doing instead of watching the humans slowly plan to take them over? Gawk over Cyclo, pussy, of course, as we see Travolta mingle with his real-life wife. A term I use very loosely. She gets drunk with economical speed and has other advantages. They call it the Gene Simmons transplant. <laughs> So the humans call on that fox tribe you saw earlier to make it look like they're mining for gold as they set out to Washington. No, they're not. They're honestly not. Son of a bitch! Turl! Oh, it's you again. How can you idiots not know about Fort fucking Knox? You what, you never checked to see if we harvested gold too? Listen. You're probably figuring out by now that we Cyclos are not very smart. In fact, the only reason we're able to take over any galaxies at all is that we fought nuclear bombs out of our anuses. Oh. So, now this has to deal with strategic planning or superior intellect? Nope! It's just farting bombs! <laughs> <sighs> you must be a very proud race. We are! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a play to rehearse for tomorrow evening. To be... Or not to be! So yeah, in a matter of two weeks, I'm gonna repeat that, two weeks, the humans learn how to find weapons, build bombs, arm guns, and even learn how to fly fighter jets. Wow, these guys are making the men's of people look like lobotomized retards. Piece of cake. So Turl returns to get his gold and never questions how they were able to turn it into bricks as he loads it up in a secret compartment.
Why is it I get the feeling this is how John Travolta wants to be buried? But after that scene, the humans finally attack! Their plan? To get to the teleporter so they can beam a bomb to the Cyclos planet and blow it up. The explosion will be small, but since the atmosphere is entirely radioactive, it'll wipe out the entire planet. Oh. Oh. So, this military force of a planet that has an atmosphere made out of radiation has never had an explosion? This race is more gun-happy than Charlton Heston's shooting gallery, and yet there's never been an explosion on this planet! Take a look at a kitten and somehow they make it blow up! These guys are crazy! There's never been an explosion! You expect me to believe that?! This is stupid! This is stupid! 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 The thought occurs to me that perhaps I'm just not in the right mindset for this movie. So, to fix this problem, I'm going to make the proper alterations. I like space <laughs> So, in a very confusing and extremely jumbled climax, the humans split up and tried to attack different parts of the Cyclos camp. The shooting's triggered the alarm! Five guards from the south, heavily armed and moving fast! That's moving fast? What do you consider moving slow? Standing still? And we have our commando moment where every friggin' alien fires at this guy, but somehow they just keep on missing. If only we weren't on a planet where everything was at an angle, we could shoot straight! The Cyclos send in the military to fight off those man animals, but those handy fighter jets come in to save the day. Uh, so let me just clarify this. Six fighter jets can take out these spaceships, and yet an entire military in the past couldn't stop an alien takeover? How is that possible? Well, according to conservative talk radio, it's because there's a Democrat in the White House. Attention! This is Terry, your chief of security. Exterminate all man animals at will, and happy hunting! I'm a thespian chief of security! So one of the ships that was set out to blow up the base on Earth gets stuck, and so he has no choice but to blow up the ship himself. I'm blowing the dome! He's okay. I immediately regret this. So the dome comes crashing down, Johnny manages to fire Turo's arm off, and the teleporter gets the bomb to the planet Cyclo, where it's blown up forever. As I was saying, Buster, this planet ain't big enough for the two of us, so... Off you go! So Cyclo is destroyed in probably the most idiotically simple of world destructions as Turl is put in a cage and used as leverage. They even get Kerr to join their team because frankly the Cyclos are fucking morons and anyone with half a brain wouldn't be on their side. Including the damn Cyclos. Why don't you vaporize me? Leverage. If there are other Cyclo colonies out there, they'll send out their gas drones and exterminate us. But if they learn that it was your greed that destroyed their home planet. And all the credits in the universe won't equal to the bounty that they put on your head. So rather than living in a world where they're trying to kill us, we're living in a world where they're trying to kill us? Get into this guy! This was a good plan. <laughs> Look at the bright side. At least you finally got your goal. <laughs> oh, the irony! He got his goal, but is totally unable to use it! Did, did we emphasize that enough? The part about him having the gold but not being able to use it? Cause that's what's going on here! He has the gold but is totally not able to use it! God, roll the credits! Oh, fuck you, Roger Christian, whoever the fuck you are! This is an absolute-
absolute ass of shit. I mean, this is bad. This is really, really bad. The acting's over the top, the camera work's a joke, the story is beyond idiotic, it's just bad. Bad, 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 bad. And like I said, how are we supposed to believe even for a millisecond that these dumbasses of a race are supposed to take us over? Just you wait, critic, for soon! We will conquer your primitive species just like we have for centuries! Uh-oh. What's wrong? Oh, it looked like someone lit a cigarette on our home planet, and now the whole damn thing's going to explode. Oh, gee. I'm sorry, it's... Yeah. Well, is there anything I can do? No, no, it's cool. Just let me work on my dying words. <laughs> oh! You know I'm not gonna miss him. While you were still learning how to spell your name!